next thing is we'll see uh, network monitoring so if we enable network monitoring the network uh, details will be listed here so we can see the already configured one how it will look like so it will tell all the network uh, traffic and the parameters how it will look like so the new server will see how to bring the such a details here so here i am going to follow uh, the instruction from their guide uh, so it is data of documentation so we can choose any operating system kubernetes so which one we are going to enable it uh, i am going to do it on uh, ubuntu server so it is linux um, so this command i will be using sudo this command so why i am using this is because uh, the permission to should, to should be applied as the file existing so i will show the place once we go to that uh, etc data doc agent ls minus lh so we can see there is a system prop file with dot example so any uh, 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 configuration they have a template already placed in uh, normally they will extension as dot example so it won't pick it as a configuration file so we can go there and enable and use it as we wanted so that's what we are going to do now so that command they gave we paste it and run that one so they will uh, simply uh, make a copy uh, and make it uh, as uh, without uh, that dot example extension so it's done then we had to go there and uh, edit that uh, system prop we only have to enable uh, network config and the enable true currently it is in com commented state so we have to enable that one um, this is for the latest version so any older version any people using that uh, the uh, other instructions are given so mostly uh, we have to go with the latest version so there is no need to go for older version but they gave that instruction in place we'll go there and edit that So we need to find that uh, particular line network config and the enable true so network config available here there are the parameters available we doesn't do that now so actually this enable is a subset of network config so that's why it's intended so then it is in false state so we have to turn to true then we save it now we have to restart uh, the agent otherwise this won't reflect restart happened so this is supposed to populate the data here so we may have to refresh and come and see because it's not a live view let's see yeah so we have to restart and at the same time we have to wait for some time uh, because they have a certain kind of uh, um, uh, duration like uh, periodically they are sending every one minute every five minutes like that so that's why we may need to wait for some time to see the data arriving another thing to note here only for single server if we are doing sometime it won't appear immediately uh, until we enable for another server which is this is communicating with some sort of anomaly found when i try so just consider that also sometimes that is one of the reason it won't list the data so even we can see one example we were installing earlier um, the agent on another server didn't appear it took this much of time to bring it and show here so now the new server came so this is a new server so all the other servers are currently having network monitoring so that's how it goes